everybody. 47 Mark IV here, back playing Exoria. Hey, check it out. You like all my fruit trees? So <clears throat> I decided to move them away from all of these so I could use the Bane of Leaves on these without killing all my fruit trees. And if I come up here, so I planted them a little too close together, but it kind of works because I can hop up on this dude and then, oop, right there. And then I can step assist across to all the other trees except for the... Uh, uh, the coconut tree and that one I had to use, you know, ladders, but then I can go up there and get some coconuts. So we got all kinds of fruits now. So let's just get down from here. All right. So I want to continue working on the quests. We were so close to being able to process more metals and I really, really want to do that. So let's just get back to the base. Uh, let's see leaves in the way. Come on leaves. All right, so let's head down here. And, you know, I did do a little bit of questing in between. So taking a look at the quest book here. Uh, let's see, let's back up. So I did do the pipes. They don't really help me right now since storage is kind of small. And this regrowth one got done. But we're right here. So foundry, I made the ingots and I made the refractory brick. So now we're into this stuff right here. So I'm going to need... A burner heater, a melting crucible, a mold crafting station, and a faucet. And let's see, what does a faucet take? Right? Porcelain faucet? No, that's from ceramics. And this is from Tinkers. Oh, okay. All right. Hold on. We got to look now. Who are you from? You're from Tinkers. All right. And you required seared brick, which is grout, which is what? Sand, clay, and gravel. Okay. All right. Hey, I wonder if I could get a smeltery. I mean, that'd be kind of nice, right? Uh, let's see. I know I've got a ton of clay here somewhere. All right. So really, at this moment, I need three bricks. So how many do you make? Is that not the recipe? Is that not the recipe for grout? Oh, oh, oh it's a clay ball. All right. How about one of them? All right. So how about this? And let's see how many this makes. Is that going to be two? And you know I'm going to need three. All right, so then we'll do that, all right, and get a little bit of grout. And I should have some fuel over here. Nope, wrong room. I should have some fuel over here, right? Uh, how about you? Oh, I got nugs. Nothing in there. All right, so let's grab a little bit of fuel. I've got a whole chest full of stuff right here. All right. So let's get these dudes cooking down. One, two, three, four. And, you know, I'm going to put an extra in there uh, because I don't feel like it always is one to one. And sometimes it just needs like a microsecond extra. All right. So let's go work on the burner heater. Burner heater. What do you need? You need a furnace. You need a refractory casing. So I need four copper plates there plus a copper plate there. All right. So I'll take the one that I've got. And we'll take uh, half of these ingots, and I'm going to need my squashing stuff down hammer wherever I put you. I could swear I put you, yeah, right here. All right, let's go squash some stuff down. So right over here, right? Uh, I got to put the first one down. Got to put the first one. There we go. And then I can just hold it down. All right, so there's... All four. Okay, so I've got, well, five. I've got that, so let's grab some cobble and some refractory bricks, right? And I've got refractory brick right there. And, you know, I just want to make a new furnace. Oh, I got a cobble chest over here. I went, nope, that's only three. I went cobble mining. Like, I'd do some stuff, and then I'd come back, and I'd just, like, mine a stack of cobble just because. All right, so let's make a furnace. All right, come on, come on. There you go. And then we should be able to make this dude, right? Get you and then get you. Burner heater. Gotcha. All right, next one. Melting crucible. And I'm really interested to get the stuff because this will let me get regular chess. Uh, melting crucible. It must be in a closed room, 50 blocks and at least 64 exposed concrete. I knew the concrete was going to come in somewhere. All right, so we need five more plates. Ew, man, this is going to be copper heavy. All right, so looks like we're going to be in the copper business for a little bit. All right, so let's see. There's four, and here's another stack. All right, let's uh, throw that down. Nope, 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 nope. Why did you do that? 
I just wanted you to go in there. All right. And where's my hammer? Now, it should still remember. Yeah. It remembers the last metal that you put on the table. The last thing that you put on the table. All right. So there's five more plates. I think I've got it all, but I'm about to break my hammer. All right. So let's see. Melting crucible. Uh, I have to go back and pick up the copper. So let's make this dude right there. Got that one. And let's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go grab the ingots right there. All right. That took just a little bit of time to get all of that stuff together. All right. One of you and one of you. Melting crucible. Nice. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. There we go. All right. What else do we need? Oh, yeah, yeah. The mold crafting station. Mold crafting. Right? Got to be able to make a mold. So another furnace and a stone slab. And, you know, I don't think I have any more stone slabs. I don't think I do, but it's not a huge problem. All right, so let's do this. Let's get a little bit of slab action going on. Uh, are you not how we make slabs? All right, hold on. Got to look. Slab. Oh, that's right. We're cutting it down. We are cutting them down. Just like I make wood slabs. Uh, how about like that? How about like this? How about like this? All right. Maybe it's a different kind of saw. Crafting tool, blah, blah, blah. Right? A copper or an iron hand saw. Okay. So I'm going to need a wood pin, two sticks, and two more plates. Okay. All right. I see you. We're going to need sticks. Uh, let's use the bamboo and regular sticks here. I don't know I'll be able to get two more plates. Yep. Didn't think so. Okay. All right. So where's one? There's two, right? Okay, and now we need to make the saw. And the saw, I'm going to need some pins. And the pins, I believe, yeah, right there. Were those things cut in half? All right, so come over here, and we'll make ourselves a saw. Hello, not a saw cue, a saw. And we should be able to make the copper hand saw right there. All right, and copper can cut down slabs. Yep, right there. Okay, so... A not bad return. All right. Uh, we were getting a mold, right? The mold crafting station. All right. So then it's another furnace and a crafting table. All right. Uh, a little bit of wood. And let's go ahead and make this dude. So let's see. Uh, I want another furnace. No. No, missed. All right. Another furnace. I probably should just do the recipes, but you know. And let's see. One more crafting station all right and we should be able to make this guy nice okay so that should oh yeah yeah, yeah. we got to go pick up the uh, stuff we're smelting it should be right there and ready and standard faucet layout right right there come on got it nice right i could probably yeah i could probably squeeze it in right here maybe I uh, got to get a new torch. Okay, new torch up on the wall. All right, so what we need here is the mold crafting station. You can go right there. The burner heater, you can go there. And then that dude can go there. Very cool. And you're going to take some sort of material. And it is probably this refractory clay. So let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, let's see if I can get you in there. Nice. And can I punch out an ingot? What is, uh, is it a mold? Yeah. Ingot mold, ingot casting table. Yeah, I want to make one of these. And so you are, could you tell me how to make you? Oh, yeah, right here. Depth two. That's what I thought. Depth two. All right. And here, have some ash. You'll fire up and then we can make that. And you are just going to need some fuel, and hopefully you run on ash, right? Let's see if this will work, because I'm super, super excited to... Oh, you're not going to run on... Oh, no, 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 this thing, this thing down here. Okay, you don't run on ash. All right, good to know. You will not run on ash, which is why we needed to make all the charcoal. Uh, let's see, I got a whole bunch of charcoal right here. So let's break down, yeah, about that many. There we go. All right. And I'm willing to bet you that I can slap the faucet right on. There we go. All right. All the charcoals are in there. 
you'll get up to temperature. I've got my mold. Uh, yeah, right here. Let's see. So we can make... Uh, I don't see it. And this is mold. Uh, let's go to foundry. Right? Foundry. Where are those things? Oh, I just saw them. I just saw them. It's right here. Ingot casting. Right? So I'm assuming that you want me to do this and that you want me to do that. Right? And let's go get the thing I want more than anything in the world, iron. Let's go get these things, and please tell me you melt down, because you're what's going to get regular chests. All right, so it's going to go all the way up to temperature, and hopefully will melt down. All right, so I'm going to let this heat up and put some stuff away. Uh, give me just a second. All right, so now that it's had a chance to heat up, it's actually a decent speed to melt these things down. And so I think I'm getting a nugget every time, but doing that should pour it out. And then I'm willing to bet you I could use the build craft stuff to uh, take it out to a chest, but I'd like to see, and I see, all right, you're an ingot. You're an iron ingot. Nice. Can I break you down into nuggets? No. How would I make nuggets? I need an iron nugget. Uh, yeah, right there. How can I make iron nuggets? Do I have to do embers? Right? Because isn't there... There is... Well, there's a nugget mold, right? I could make a nugget mold. Could, what could I do with this? I'd have to do the metal caster, which is iron plates and another one of these. But if I remember this right, it requires uh, power. But I really need the nuggets to be able to make uh, chests which is the entire goal. So you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to melt down a ton of this stuff right here. And let's see if we can do it. I'm not sure, but it's worth it. I've got the supplies. Uh, you know, we ought to check the quest book, right? Uh, oh, channeling. What's a casting channel? Hold on. Let's, uh, let's, let's take a look here. Casting channel is... All right, so I need more seared bricks. All right, let's get that going too. Uh, you guys, and you, and you. So, it's going to be two of those, right? Two of these, and two of those. Will give me four more grout, right? Come with me. One, two, three, four, five. Eh, I know that's six, but whatever. All right, so you can go in there, uh, right there, and go ahead and work. You are making me iron ingots, which is nice. Oh, man. Now I can melt down all this garbage that has been clogging up the inventory. All right, so if we make a casting channel, I need to automate a uh, transport of liquids. Clicking on the sides of the channel will toggle connections. All right, so will you, will you automate casting, right? That's something worthwhile to find out. All right, so there is three. Let's go get our other seared brick and experiment. Let's go get our other seared brick right here. Nope. Right there. All right. Let's find out. Because clicking it out of there will take some effort. Right? So let's just do this. Casting channel. All right. So I uh, can't click on that. Build with faucets to move liquids with or casting. All right. Let's, uh, oh, let's see what happens in the quest book here. Quest book got a little bit bigger. Oh, it wants me to make all the tables. All right, a plate casting table, an ingot casting table, which, dude, I have. I have. Do you register it now? Detect. How about now? There you go. Okay. Now, what I want to know is, if I take that guy off, I've never really played with channels. They just never really seemed that useful. Right? Okay, so let's uh, let's get an open hand here. All right, okay, so you are connect and disconnect. And do you go just like that? Disallowed. Okay, so you're trying to tell me something here. Set side to flow outwards. All right. Disallowed flowing down, allowed flowing down. All right, but shouldn't you uh, flow? Isn't that a thing? Set side to flow inwards. Uh, you know, I think this would be handier. Do I still need a faucet? Do I need a faucet on here? I'm not sure that's a thing. 
I don't know. I'll have to play with it. It doesn't seem terribly helpful to me right now. Right? I just want to do that. All right. Let's go make the other things we need to make. A plate cast. All right. So let's go back to mold and let's take a look at the plate mold. So you are depth one all the way in the middle. All right. So depth one. Oh, I got to go get some ash. Right? Uh, no, you're ash. All right. So make me that mold, and then what else do I need? A block casting table. Uh, who is a block? Are you a block? Yeah, you are. All right. Whoa, depth four. Uh, it's going to take a minute. That is going to take a minute. All right. So let's uh, let's try a thing here. Let's try a thing. Will a hopper feed in there? Ah, uh, yeah, totally will. Okay, very cool. Right? So I can just kind of do this a little bit. And you, sir, should be done. All right, so we got to cut down another piece of stone. Uh, no, you're not stone. Right there. Let's go get our copper saw since I put it away. Right, and, you know, these would be handy to have. Let's, uh, let's make a couple of them, right? I mean, I know I'm going to need slabs in the future. All right, there we go. And I can put my saw back up there. And I think, oh yeah, I'm going to need the bricks. I'm going to need these bricks. And we should have enough to complete this quest, right? And make those molds. Hmm. What do they call them? Why don't I see them there? Yeah, it'd be nice to make the refractory spout, right? I think that thing works pretty well, but yeah, bronze can't get there. All right, what were those? Are they tables? Yeah, they're tables. All right, so there's that one. And now you're a rod. Yeah, there it is. Okay, right there. All right, so now I can make blocks and I can cast plates. All right, very cool. What's over here? So, oh, you want me to make a tin plate? Of course you do. Of course you do. All right, let's, uh, let's melt down some tin. Let's get all this iron out of here. All right, so I took a minute and, you know, looked at the channels some more and you know i had to think about it that stuff has to drop down and that the channels have configurable outputs right so this makes a lot more sense so now right now what were we supposed to get i was supposed to get a tin plate so like this i can disable that and enable that and go ahead and pour my tin you should have gone in there why will you only travel that number of spaces okay all right, so you'll only go three. All right, so we're going to waste a little bit to learn here, but that's all right. That's exactly why we do what we do. All right, so you can go there then, and we'll get one of you. We'll hook you up and set side to flow outwards. Let's see. I don't like doing this with stuff in my hand. Let's see. No, not flowing down. Ah, arg. All right, let's try this again. You can go in there. I'm not really sure how to get you back, but whatever, right? I'll clean that out. I just want to make this plate. All right, so, I mean, oh, yeah, it's got little, okay, it's got arrows. It's got arrows, right? You're flowing this way. All right, I see it. All right, so it's worth this little bit of metal, right? How do I, there we go. All right, so I shift, and that will then change direction. All right, very cool. So... Let's go ahead, let's just put this back, now that we understand, right? I need a little bit more in there to be able to, ah, be able to do that. Now, I might as well make a block while I've got it going, I guess, right? Might as well make a block, right? Are you full? You are a tin plate. Ah, nice, got it. Okay, so I'll play with the metal some more. Clearly got to learn there. Did that. All right, can make a bucket. From tin plates, I can now finally make a bucket. What do you mean, tin plates? What do you mean, tin plates? A bucket. Oh, you're three tin plates. Okay. Kind of hard to tell when it's done. There we go. I'll put that back, too. All right, let's make ourselves a bucket. Ah, metal bucket. Nice. There was a recipe that I wanted to do, but I couldn't do it because it literally required a metal bucket of water. Ooh, a watering can. Uh, ooh, ooh, iron tools. And survivalist, solid survivalist strainer. Uh, okay, let's look at that. Solid survivalist, 
So I'm going to need a bunch of iron and some nets. All right, so I'll have to do that in between. Let's take a look here. Thatching. Now I have metal ingots and plates, I should work towards getting gears. Seems that this process is a bit harder to achieve. I need a more heat-resistant material in Adobe. I wonder if I could use the rush seeds to get some thatching. Up oh, there's the grass. I need to have thatching on the drying racks I have. Okay. To form the mix, I should craft the brick forms from split logs. To get them, I need to cut the bark from the logs as a work blade by shift right clicking and then apply some kind of axe or hatchet to split the... Oh, man. Holy cow, that's a lot of steps. All right, let's uh, let's try a thing here. Where's my where's my work blade? Right there. Here's some logs. Uh, let's go get some rush. I've been saving it up up here somewhere. Right? I like that look with all those uh, things up top. All right, let's get some... Uh, let's take a look here. Thatching. Right? Isn't that what you were? Wet thatch. Right? Fresh thatch. Yeah, so you're any, you're the rush tips or the blooming will make this, and then I can put it on the drying rack, and you'll make dry, okay, all right. So, uh, let's see, you were the blooming, or did I say the tips? Did I say the tips? The tips or the blooming, oh, any part, okay, all right, who do I have the most of? Stems. All right, so you... Uh, I don't know how many I'll need. Let's start with a dozen. Let's start with a dozen and then see if we can figure this process out. Right, so you can go there. I'm mostly excited just because I got metals and I can make metal tools. I'm so stoked about that. I am going to melt down everything, right? Let's, uh, yeah, I should have a whole ton more tin right here. All right, close this. Change that. Go here. Pour. Yeah, make me a block of tin. I'll finish up the plate and the ingot, just so we don't waste anything. Right? Right there, and then you should stop. Okay, and then you open, and you go this way, and you're not quite enough. Right? All right, I'm getting this. Right? Uh, nope. I want you to... Hey, there we go. And you can close. You can... You can go this way, right? And we'll finish filling up that ingot. There we go. All right, very little waste. Uh, it took a little bit to learn. All right, so let's get this stuff here, fresh thatch. You can go on the drying rack, right? Right there, take out the stuff that I was making. Cool. Somehow, you... What happens if I put you and you together? No, is this in-world crafting? this in world crafting do i do something like this ah there we go i've debarked a log all right let's take a look here uh blah 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 blah. right i'm gonna get dry thatching to form the mix i should craft brick forms from split logs to get them i need to cut the bark from the logs with a work blade did that and then some kind of axe or hatchet can split the logs by right clicking all right okay and that got me split oak logs all right and then uh by putting the brick mix into a form now only requires waiting i should paralyze and speed up also make sure it's safe from rain all right let's get this stuff here right there we go this is that is dry whatever i just want to see how this is done right and what is the adobe mix adobe adobe brick right Adobe Brick Mix, which is dry thatching, mud, and refractory clay. Do I have any refractory clay left? No, I think I used it all. All right, let's make some refractory clay real fast. Right, what was, uh, let's see, let's come back over here. Yeah, I could do it this way. I could do it right in my inventory. Cool. And then I just need mud. And I have your dirt, your dirt, your dirt. Don't I have? Oh, no, you're mud. I was going to say, I know I have some mud, right? Uh, let's grab some of these guys. All right, mud, you are going to have to go back because, as usual, inventory's a problem. All right, let's just dump off that sand. Okay, 
and then we can make this mix, right? Okay, got those. Now, I feel like something's wrong here. I feel like that there's a mold, right? Uh, mold. No, I don't see it. All right, let's read the book again. Adobe Crafter. To form the mix, I should craft brick forms from split logs, okay? And then putting the brick mix into the form. So can I put these dudes on the ground? No. Split oak log, do you have uses? Brick form, okay. All right, all right, I got you. Now I'm with you. Now I'm with you. So I will, right, I'll debark you. And I will make you into that. Let's go make a brick form, right? That's what it was called. It was a form. Brick form. All right, got that. Let's, uh, yeah, I'm just going to stick this right here for right now just so I can see it work. And then do I take this Adobe mix and I fill you up like that? All right, so I need to make a whole bunch of these because apparently we're going to make a kiln or something, right? I've got that. I've got that. Uh, if I just pressed forward, I need four and two blocks of Adobe. Uh, you know, I can't tell when you're done. Let me make another one of those. Give me just a second. All right, so looks like these things are going to take forever to dry. I just noticed that one of them had dried, so whatever. I'll, I'll let that go. Now, a couple things that I want to get done because I can real fast. So let's see. Right here, we can get the uh, uh, watering can, right? We can get this one because we got all those things done, right? And that was a quick quest right there so that's my watering can i guess i could get the uh, iron axe i guess i could do that because we've got the iron for it so let's do this and you know i know i could probably smelt down like an iron shovel shovel to get an iron nugget i don't want to uh iron axe yeah and i'm gonna make these strainers in between episodes but the thing that'll help me out more than anything else right now is going to be this so we're going to take two of these guys and a coconut and throw it through the portal and i'm going to get myself an iron or berry bush and i'm going to guess that this dude has to live in complete darkness which where did i put the slabs yeah because here's what i'm thinking is i'm going to take a room that's kind of lit and i'm wondering if i can do something like this right and then I can plant my bush and I can technically reach it, uh, you know, while it's still technically dark and I can make a row of them and, you know, I'll grow up or bushes or, or berries, right? Or berry. And then I can get these guys and these dudes directly smelt to nuggets. So that'll be what I do in between episodes is I'm going to finish off this right here and we'll go get all the bushes and i can oh there's my bricks right are you dudes i thought you're ready i thought you're ready i don't know you look ready but you don't want to come out i don't know i'll figure it out but that's going to be kind of the plan of the day so i'm really stoked about this stuff right here now i can melt down all these metals and get ingots and whatnot ah it's gonna be so good so soon i can at least get myself an iron pickaxe so i'm 47 mark 4 and i hope you enjoyed the episode uh if you did hey drop me a like leave me comments i love to hear from you guys and then i will see you in the next episode